Just under £121,000 on this park. Look at this. We've got a bath. Dressing table is a bit, you know, poo. Yeah. I love this bit. I love it. Well, that's a clip. <laughs> you were just worried about somebody seeing your little pecker. Would you buy it? Hi, and welcome back to My Static Life. I am Shane. This is Lee. We are both static caravan owners and what we're doing is we're doing reviews honest impartial reviews and all like that so we can show you the viewer the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> right so today we've got something a little bit different haven't we um because we're down in park dean south view south view uh, they've invited us down to have a little poke around some of the caravans. Yeah. And we're now on to what initially, at the beginning of the day, we thought were the best, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. When yeah. we walked in earlier on, just to have a quick look, I went, wow. No, you really didn't. You said some other things. You, when we got to the door, just to give a bit of a, a thing, we didn't get it on video. Shane went, oh, not too keen on this. Yeah, the cupboard. The yeah, cupboard. and yeah. then we walked in into the kitchen. You looked around the corner and you went, fuck me. Yeah, the first impression when you walk around the corner, he, he, he did have that wow factor. Oh, yeah, he has. He has got a wow factor when you look at it. Uh, but then I've come back and we've had a little noisy about and took some photos and I'm not feeling the same, are you? Before we start going on and we get on to that, let me just tell you what it is. So what it is, is it's a Victory Faraday Lodge. It's 41 by 20, three bedroom, eight berth. It's 120, just under £121,000 on this park. It's already on the pitch though, isn't it? Yes. It's yeah, already yeah. on the pitch. It's got decking going all the way around it. Nice decking. Nice decking. And I don't know if you know, it's got little spotlights in the decking. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's a very nice feature. It's got a hot tub. A hot tub. A hot tub. Now, I we, would love a hot tub. We did ask if we could get in the hot tub, um, but unfortunately we were told no due to it not being all ready. He said the chemical would strip yeah. the skin from his body or yeah, something like yeah. that. You know, I was willing to give it a go. And you know what? You've, you've also out there, you've got a nice view of a little pond yeah. with a waterfall yeah. and ducks. So sit there in an the evening with your coffee or your beer. Yeah. In your hot tub, it would be lovely. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, Absolutely. it would be. It would be. I mean, I mean, they they they've said loads. I mean, what what Tell is you important? What, though, can you imagine what the pitch fees would be on here? Wow! At the moment, they're offering free pitch fees for this year and next year. But then the year after, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. You, then the pitch fees are going to be probably like a mortgage or something like that. Well, I, I think she said so. I think I think she said something like six grand, six and a half grand. It's a couple of grand more than what I pay. That's quite a bit more than what I pay. Yeah, we don't need to talk about your pitch fee, do we? We don't need to. We, don't, we won't go there today because what, what we've got talking about our pitch fee on the way here, right? And I got that up yet. I, I told him to stop and I'm going to get out and walk home, won't I? Yeah, I'd have loved that. I will get in quite stressed. In another video, we are going to talk about the cost of owning a caravan, the pitch fee, the gas electric and all the other gubbins that go along with it so if you are thinking about buying one we can give you the low down on that but let's get back to this this caravan or should i say lodge it's a big open space the living room dining room and the kitchen <sighs> oh it's all in one big area got a good view from here yeah good. um it's it's nice it's, it is nice it's really yeah. really nice Let's focus first on the living room and we'll we'll video the yeah. go around there. I can't help but feel this is a bit mismatched. Oh, hundred percent. Actually, when you when I think about the design of it, it probably does go together, but it don't feel like it does. Like this 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 little coffee table seems the wrong size for the space. Yeah, but when you look then when you look at the, the legs, the legs and stuff on all the other stuff. It, 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 it goes. Does, it does go, but it just feel like it doesn't go at the same time. I mean, let's just remember. I mean, this is just what we're looking at. Yeah. You know, somebody else might walk in and go, absolutely, oh, I absolutely love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Uh, the sofas are nice and big and wide. Yeah. You, you could have a nap on this. Yeah. Quite easy, 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 easy. 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 
What we're thinking to the TV area. It's nice. It's quaint. It's but it's basic. Yeah, it's basic. Do, do, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it should be it should be for the money. It should be luxury. Yeah, it should be. But on we don't point, really know much about lodges, do we? No. Is is one hundred and twenty grand for a two thousand twenty two lodge? Is that cheap? Yeah, is that, is that like a is middle of the cheap? range, yeah. or is it an excellent range, or a premium range, exactly, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, you could be right there that this could be on the lower budget of lodges, new lodges. That is. Yeah. Let's like, back to what we normally look for: plug sockets. Oh, got one end. down here, but that's for the fire. Nothing, my end, mate. So enough. So if you sat on the sofa, you can't charge your phone or your tablet. No. So that's out at window straight away. Um, what about how big of a TV we could get going? You on could there? get a fifty-five, sixty on there, couldn't you? But you wouldn't have any, any, you, you wouldn't have room for anything else. Nothing else. Uh, we have got a nice fireplace in the corner. Yeah, I like that. I do really like that. Um, it's really nice. Yeah, it looks cosy. It looks tidy. It's similar to one we've seen in a previous lodge. Yeah, not lodge not caravan, caravan, but it's nice. You've got an extra seat in the corner. That's nice, and you've got some cupboards. It's all right. I'm not blown away. I feel like with all that space there, this area feels a little bit restricted. Yeah, I do. I, I do feel that. And do you know, like too much furniture crammed yeah, into one area. And, and do you want me to be honest, Shane? No, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm looking around. I look around everywhere, all the walls. And there's gaps. There's gaps in there between all. There's gaps everything. Every, every, everywhere. Everywhere. The skirt, the the board at the top doesn't fit together. Yeah. It's all going down. You know, even down the side there looks a bit shabby. Yeah. Down there. And like I mean, from here, where where they've put that panel on that essentially joins the two parts of the van, yeah. you can see the little nail marks. Now, I'd understand if you could see it when you looked really close up, but being able to see it from here, that ain't, that isn't good. No. And again, you've got a big crack over there. Um, and then where, if you've noticed, uh, where they've, like these little, I don't know what, what you call them, like little bobbly bits or whatever, the wall joining fastenings, it just looks tacky, doesn't it? The, the, yeah, yeah, where well, they're just like um, stick-on bits. But you can see where they've obviously had things on the wall and stuff before, and they've removed it. We've got a nice big dining table. Yeah. Um, you don't get this. This, this is one thing I do really like yeah. about the van. You can all get around. Easy. Do you know what I mean? You can have a nice big family meal. Yeah. Um, on an evening, you can sit around here and have drinks. You could have friends over. Friends around. Uh, you have a few beers. Six people. Six people on it. Yeah. You, you know could I mean? play a few board games. Yeah. You you got loads, cards you've out, got whatever. loads of room. It's nice. And then to the other side, you've got the little bar, stools. Bar because you've stools. got a little breakfast bar. So you can, you know, if it's just two kids, they can jump on here and they can they can have the breakfast. Or you could sit on here and, and talk to your wife while they're cooking tea if you are no good in the kitchen. So it is quite a nice little feature to have this. I love this bit. I love it. Yeah, this is, this is a definitely a good thing. And then from there, we've got nice uh, sliding. Are they sliding? Yeah, the yeah, sliding, the sliding, sliding doors, doors. Out, onto, out yeah. onto the decking. So here we go. The outside, nice big decking area. All lovely glass all the way around, Shane. You've got glass around, you've got this nice decking. Again, you've got a table out here to sit on. You could have this table big, double that size, couldn't you? You could really. And again, well, it seems weird there's only three chairs. It's, but it's got to be It's got to be 10 foot. That's got to be 10 foot, isn't it? Yeah. And look at this. We have got a big hot tub. What's that? That's got to be, well, it's a four person, isn't it? Five, six person hot tub. One, yeah, two, definitely. three, four, five, six. Yeah, six person hot tub. Yeah, so you've got this lovely outdoor area that faces a lake, not a lake, a little puddle, there's some ducks on it, and then there's some other lodges also fish. The only thing I won't like, Lee, right, is previously when I've like booked holidays to stay in like where they've got a hot tub, like you stay in a wooden lodge, yeah? Yeah. Part of the region, places where I've been, you get in a hot tub, right, and you go to one where nobody can see you. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be getting in and out of there when they've got one, they've got one, when they've got one, and all, literally, ten, ten different caravans 
can see me getting in and out of here. You're just worried about somebody seeing your little pecker. I am, mate. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not worried. I'm big and proud, mate. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You know when I've been on these holidays? Yeah. I've got in there naked. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. There's no step. Yeah, there's no step. That's going to be a bit of a jump, isn't it? There's I mean, no step. It, that, I mean, if I were to get in there without a step, oh, yeah. It's going to be hard work, isn't it? Has anyone else got a step? Have they got a step? I don't see anybody with a step, mate. No, no, nobody's got a step. So, you know, something as simple as a step to get in and out. I mean, it's a safety feature, surely. Yeah. So well, I love the big doing, window. I'll tell you what I do like, though, mate, is the look of the van. It looks nice, doesn't it? It's the, the yeah. colour, in it? The grey. It does look nice. So here I am in the kitchen. Big, beautiful. It, it's uh, Shane, this is one thing I do love about this, is the size of the kitchen. Big We've in. got, so as we're going around, cupboards, pots and pans, plates, everything like that. We go around here, another cupboard, glasses and all that sort of crap. In here, dishwasher, full size, full size dishwasher. Love that, mate, love that. Microwave, now this is just a microwave. Above, cupboard. We've even got a little little thing over here and glasses up. Somebody's obviously, um, obviously this is a, a show van, um, a cell van. Somebody's obviously had a bit of a miss up in here before we've got here, glass and all that. But they obviously go on, as you can see, like that. Some of my missus would love that. Little glass thing there. Going around, you've got a nice big window. Window obviously opens, opens. Look at that. That's lovely, that. Nice big white sink. Creamy coloured sink, I like that. Oh, we've even got pet water. Cupboards under the sink. Loads and loads of cupboard storage room. Loads and loads. Here we've got more cupboards. Oven. Big. Five hob oven, um, top again. We like that. Now, no big extractor fan, although there is. There is it's an extractor. It's built into the cupboard, isn't it? Yeah, it's built into the cupboard so that you can't get in there. That one's just a dud. We've got more cupboards all the way along. Yeah, all the way along. Cutlery drawer, but it is, again, we've seen better. It's just a plastic, do you know what I mean? That's nasty. Cheap. It's nasty. Yeah. It is for this sort of caravan. But like we said, is this a budget lodge? Is it a cheap lodge yeah. for what they are? Do you know what I mean? Bear in mind the year. We've got more bits and pieces. Some lodges can be up to like a quarter of a million pounds. Yeah, we've, I've seen them advertised. So is this a, a is this a cheap budget lodge? Fridge, same as what we've always, you know, we're always seeing. There's one other thing that I do like, and that's the wine chiller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bottles of wine can go in there. My wife would love that. Oh, yeah, your missus would, yeah. wouldn't she? I mean, it's only probably one night of wine. In there, that one. Yeah, <laughs> what, my missus and your missus. Yeah, they'd destroy that, wouldn't they? Oh, easy destroy peasy, that. mate. Absolutely but easy peasy. It's a really nice feature in it. Yeah. Where would you, in here, just like we had a problem with the other caravan, right? Where would you put a bin? I think the only place to put a bin, you not ideal, say. on the edge. That's the yeah. main door in there, Shane. You come in. And then you've got these three big, like, doors. Now, in the first door, <laughs> boiler. It's a big uh, Morco Series 3 GB30 propane boiler. I think that's what I've got in mind. That's that. You've got a bit of room in there, though, Shane, that you can put some bits and pieces. Like your you mop and bucket. Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. And then we go in this one. They're all on those push... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Washing machine. Tidy. No. Yeah, washing machine there. So that's cool. Shelving. And then in this one, guys, you just got some more shelving. It's got to be a, like a budget um, lodge. Okay, is all the walls coming apart? Like the edging? Yeah, all the, all the seal. Yeah. The, the things don't link up in the... I think we've got that everywhere, haven't we? Yeah. 
It, it just doesn't seem to link up. Oh, that that that's actual proper cracking, isn't it? Yeah. Just look, that had silicon in it, and it's like moved. Yeah. Now, has the van moved? Was it when it's sighted? Should they have looked it up? Is it because it's not being, you know, sold? And they've just used it, I don't know, as a manager's thing or something? I don't know, but look, look, at it. it's all, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. There's the, the links, they don't seem to meet. It's every room, and, and, and the in-between, in-between the panels, they're not quite there. They should all be like that. That's how they should be. Yeah, that bang on, isn't it? Yeah. But why, you know, one bit that's bang on in an entire van, it's bad. I mean, it's nice, it's big, it's wide. It's like being at home, do you know what I mean? You're not going to get stuck, are you, that? No, you're definitely not going to get stuck. Although, a couple of little things that I'm not happy about, Shane, is these little pop-in things in the saying, wall, yeah. and then there's white things like they've just stuck on. It's a bit, it's just a bit shabby, really. It, it ruins, it ruins the van. Yeah. It ruins the van. It's a lovely van, and it just ruins it. it uh, I mean... You can just, you can just see. It's just. <laughs> They're literally. Oh, there you go. The there you go. So they are literally, they are literally little poppers that you pop in. That. And they're, just, and they're literally just popping off the wall when you touch them. Yeah. Right then. Sure, let's get into bed. Ugh. Oh, fuck you now. <laughs> <laughs> I flew back then. Uh, you know, we're in the main bedroom. Again. Again. In bed. This looks nice, mm -hmm. but it's a bit... I don't know, I don't know if I like this. Oh, I, I, do. I, I, I do. I, yeah, I do like that, actually. Well, I think it's pretty basic. It's a pretty basic room, and I think that was a mirror that was up there. Yeah, it's more than likely to be a mirror. Um, Maybe someone broke it. Yeah, yeah. Dressing table is a bit, you know... Poo, 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 poo. Really? It looks like a little desk, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a little computer desk rather than a dressing table. But it's table. too small to be a computer desk because you wouldn't put screen. No, no, I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it's got that look uh, of a little yeah. computer desk. It doesn't really look like a, a, a dressing table to me. There's nowhere for them to, like, there's no drawers to put the air dryer and all that sort of stuff. They, they haven't even got a puff in here, have they? No. To sit on. Look, One look. double wardrobe. TV brackets are up high. Again, like the previous van, you'd obviously have to put it up. Although you do have a bit more room up there for a TV. Yeah, yeah. You get you a do, yeah. side one. Um, there, yeah. Depending you got, on your mirror. Yeah, you've got bedsides. My side's got a double plug with USBs. Yep, same down here. So, but they're... Yeah, no, they're the white ones, yeah. They're cheap, they? cheap white ones. And they, this one, this plug here, isn't even flush to the wall. There's uh, like a like a gap around that that much going around the uh, the plug, so it, like and he's tightening up or something. I don't know. Strange. So, but going around, obviously central heating all the way through. Bed's quite big. I think it's a king size, isn't it? Comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah. I do you feel? But, it's got a good mattress on it. It feels yeah. very comfortable. But that's about all I can say, mate. Yeah, it has got an ensuite behind. Now, Lee, have you seen the shower in the ensuite? No. I mean, again, ignoring the fact that it's something would just stuck up, this does look quite nice. This is quite big. Oh, yeah, I do like that. Nice, smooth. The amount of space in here. Turn sideways. Okay. I mean, it's going to be a bit tighter on you, but there's plenty of room. And look at this for a shower. Yeah, but will I get under it? What what do they call these showers now? Like a... Waterfall. Rain, rainforest type shower. Do they call it just a waterfall? A fucking rainforest? What are you on about? <laughs> sure, my missus has said something like that. But yeah, so you've got that. And then look, you can get that. Ooh, you know? You can get that everywhere you want to get it while getting wet from above. Oh. No, I don't think you can have both on at the same time. Don't ruin it for me. <laughs> don't ruin it for me. Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to press it then, but I forgot this place is plumbed in. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> You're in easily. Oh, loads of room. Loads of room. You, you're under it, but only just. Um, there is, however... Shane, 
behave. That wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to use that. No? No. I wouldn't be able to touch my head. Yeah, there's no way of making it bigger, is there? Like, what's no. that little dial thing outside? No, that turns it on, Shane. I'm not doing that. No, it's trying, mate. <laughs> but in here, what we do have is we've got some really nice black taps, some black, a black radiator, black on the outside of the, the shower. And I think this is probably the most luxurious part of the lodge. So yeah, I like it. I like the bathroom. I like the yeah. ensuite. It is nice. He's probably a little, I think the reason we like it, he's got quite a masculine feel to it. Hasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite masculine. Uh, maybe the women won't like it as much as we do, but I like this black, black edging. It just looks nice. Look at this. We've got a bath. Yeah, oh, mate, and a bath big enough for both of us. Yeah, we can both get in. Obviously, it's a bit of a squeeze. Yeah. Right? Uh, why am I at tap end? Because just in case this fan's plumbed in, mate. <laughs> if you touch that tap, it's you that's getting wet. Yeah, I'm right. not yeah. fucking silly, mate. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a bath now. It's 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 rare you get a bath, isn't it? Yeah, and to be fair, it's rare. I'm a big boy. Yeah. Right. It's rare I get in a bath, and I could feel quite comfortable in this. Yeah, yeah. This, so it's a full size bath in it. Um, one of the problems I normally have with a bath is. If it ain't got that back edge to it, yeah. I tend to splash water out everywhere. At home, I'm forever flooding the kitchen, you know? Because I go into it and there's a big tidal wave that comes out of the back. No. Goes down. You're not going to have any, that problem with this because it's tiled to the back. They're not real tiles. They're plastics. Hell yeah. They're one, it's one long strip. Yeah, like all the way across. No, it? yeah, feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I mean is, it's one long, it's going up. Yeah, one long strip all along. Yeah. But you know, it looks apart. It does look nice. It does look nice. The bathroom looks nice again. We've got these black. We've got black taps. Got a nice big sink big, over there. Big black towel rail. Yeah, it 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 looks nice. it has got a masculine feel to it. The I like it. Man. I like I like this bathroom. Yeah. Uh, shall we get out? Who's going to get out first? You want to get out first? <laughs> My foot, I'm getting cramp. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah, give me a foot. Can you get out? Yeah. He's out, he's out, he's out. Big room. Yeah. But. Tiny beds. Well, I don't think the beds are tiny. I think the mattresses, I don't think it's the right mattresses. I mean, if you can see, look at that. Yeah. Look at that, there's loads of room. I tell you what, I know. We all lay, I don't want to be harsh, but we all laid on that. I could see them slats bowing. <laughs> Shane, yours are bowing and all, mate. <laughs> Two fatties in the bed, what do you expect? Wouldn't want us both to get on here. I'll tell you what these are. These are your basic beds that you normally have in a little caravan. Right? I think these are probably what I've got in, in my bedroom two and three. Do you want me to tell what I think? What? I don't think these are the ones that are meant to be here. No, I don't, because they're far too small, aren't they? Far too small. Uh, the mattresses are too... I mean, the, the bed... Don't get me wrong. Small. Mattress is comfy. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's not right, is it? No. In here, you, you, you just have a two normal size bed, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because this is a big double bedroom. Yeah, it is a big bedroom. Right. And we, we've got... Oh, you just put a double bed in it. It's a mirror to the other one, isn't it, really, if you think about it. Problem about the ensuite. Yeah, there's not much difference. I mean, this one's still got its original mirror, uh, which is quite a nice mirror, that. Uh, so now you can we can see how the TV and the yeah. the mirror is set up. Uh, you would have enough space up there for decent-sized TV, Yeah, 40. You? Yeah, absolutely. Plug, single plug down here with a USB. You got one your side? No, this side. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh... No, mate. Yes, you have. Have I? Yeah, yeah, I can see it just down there. Was it behind the bed? Yeah, just down there. But by the indents in the bed, I think the bed's actually meant to be against the wall. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, where it is now, I mean... I, I mean, feel like I'm going to fucking rock off, mate. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to say. It's like, as I turn like that, I was going. I was going. The, the wrong beds, I don't know who's put these in here. No, I don't. I think these are the originals. I think it's the mattresses that are gone. Right. Oh, well. We've got the, again, you've got a decent sized cupboard. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it's tidy. Again, if you look all throughout, you've got these like black handles and a black finish. And in some respects, I like it. Like, I think it works in the bathroom. Yeah. I don't think it necessarily works in the living room. 
And I don't yeah. think it worked with the the little desk thing over there. Likewise, the wardrobe. Um, I'm not that keen on the handle on that neither. I like it. Do you? Yeah, I do. I, I like it. But I can't see it then. But, yeah. I don't. No. Difference of opinion. Yeah. You know, we're going to agree, are we? No, and I'm right and you're wrong and I'm big and you're small and that's and you the way talk it, a load of shit. Yeah, well, I've been told that a few times and all. Why, why is that left like that? With I think the, that just pushes in, mate. Yeah, but, you know, you you just make sure it's done, wouldn't you? Look, I'm going around fixing things, yeah? Well, that's a claim. <laughs> <We're flying. laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> So we're in the third bedroom and clearly Mat these are the right mattresses. These are the right mattresses for the job, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. You see um, the difference in the room. It, it makes a lot. This is a smaller room, though. This. Yeah, it is a smaller room. It's a there's smaller no, there's room. no dressing table. There's still a du double wardrobe. Nice big window. Same thing on here. It feels better though, doesn't it? Yeah, but you know I mean, because because you've got the right size mattress on the bed. Even though the room's smaller, I feel feel like you feel more comfortable. Two single plugs, no USBs. What's going on with Ariel, Lee? Mate, what the fuck? What are you meant to put up there? A <laughs> twelve-inch TV. I don't even know if you fit a fucking twelve-inch up there, mate. What's that plug socket at the end of the bed for? I don't know. That's a bit of a strange place to put I in. honestly believe that when this was designed, they started off on a real good thing, and then it got fucking pissed, and then it just went out the fucking window. I was going to say, I think some people were taking magic mushrooms when they were making this. But it's... It, because it's like, there's some really, really good elements, yeah. and then there's some really weird shit stuff as well, yeah. isn't there? And do you know what, Shane, with that... When I first walked in... I was hit by the wow. You were mesmerised. Mesmerised. And do you know what? If I were somebody coming to a site to look at a van for the first time, I'd have signed up right there and then. And it'd only been after that I'd have thought, ah, oh, shit. I've been fucking done. I've been done. Now, don't get me wrong. I still like it. I love it. But for me, the overall score has dropped down to about a seven. Mm-hmm. Maybe even a six and a half, because what we've got to do is we've got to take into account the money that it's at, the good bits and the bad bits, and obviously the ugly bits. Yeah. Now, for me, the good bits are, you know I want a hot tub. Yeah. Right? The I want a hot tub. I want nice decking. Right? The kitchen, nice kitchen. Big kitchen. Right? They're, they're instantly... The, and the, 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 the on switch, they're the good bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bad bits are, one, people are going to see you getting in and out of the hot tub. Yeah, because right. you've got a little willy, don't want anybody to know. Don't want everyone to know that, thankfully. Also, the, the bedrooms, they're not that great, right? But then the ugly bits, is the finish, isn't it? The finishing touches, yeah, yeah. So I go six and a half, pushing a seven at best. What would you say? I'm going to say six and a half. Yeah. I'm going to say six and a half. Love the design, love the layout, but I just think they could have done more. Plugs are a, a massive thing for me. I really don't like that. They've gone with cheap yeah. plugs. The, you know, you've got the decking, you've got the hot tub, you've got all that. You're looking out onto that little lake. I love all that. I'm not too much like, like him. I, I, my missus would be the same. She wouldn't get in the hot tub with people being out of sea. Me, I couldn't give a toss. I'll get in there. Dangly's hanging oh, out. I'm not saying I won't get in it. I just prefer that privacy. Oh, no, it wouldn't bother me, mate. I'd dangly's. The lady over there, if she wants to have a look at me dangly's, she could have Back a look off. at me dangly's, yeah. The guy <laughs> over there, he'd probably be looking at my big hairy ass thinking, whoa, and I'd smack <laughs> that shit. Right? But at the end of the day, do you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. But it's, it's you, Shane, you're right. You hit the nail on the head. It's the finishing touches. Like, the, you know me, mate. You, you, you should all know that I pick on these little things now and the little gaps all the way around in every single room we found at least one or two. And that's what would piss me off. There's, you know, the way that they they've they've stapled the uprights from where the two join together, and that you can see it all. 
I think it's been done tacky. There's certain like uh, things that they've done to fill the holes in the walls or or whether or not they're meant to be there. Tacky as fuck. The 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 things that they where they've screwed the boards onto the wall, the things that they plug in there, tacky as fuck. It's just it's all this. Now, I can honestly say, Shane, even the light switches, just plain white. It's shit. It's fucking shit. But then I go to the other side. I go to the kitchen. I love it. Fucking love it. The big space for the dining table. Love it. I love it. The bedrooms uh, could be done a little bit more. I'd probably... Uh, a little bit more. The bathrooms. I love them. I love the bathrooms. Absolutely love it. Now, this is obviously just our our, our own opinion. Um, mm. Other people might love it. You know, yeah, I can some un- people yeah. look at it and go, oh, that's amazing. It's best for- I love the layout. I love the decor. Yeah. I love this. I love that. You know, this is I like the amazing. lights over the breakfast bar. I, I like them, yeah. I like that. The, yeah. key, the key thing is, Lee, would you buy it? Uh, I mean, what's it for sale for? 120, I think it what? was, mate. Let me just- so first of all, we've got to point out one. Neither one of us has got 120 grand. 121,000. But if you had 121,000 pounds to spend on a caravan, would you? No. No from me too. No. But I'd, I'd, I'd like to say yes. I would want to say yes. I'd want to say yes, but it's just that little... I love the idea it. of a lodge. I love the size. I love everything about it. I love it all. Me, personally... Not my thing. If I, I can see... But the great thing with it is you think about how big those bedrooms are, the second bedrooms. Yeah. If you've yeah. got six kids... Oh, plenty, ample space. You could put ample bunk beds space. in there. Yeah, you could put bunk beds in there. There's a lot you can do. Yeah. And if you haven't got six kids, you could throw a big double bed in for them. Yeah. Yeah, Keep but them pleased my, my thing with this would be six beds... All I can say, guys, now, it's not our cup of tea, but it might be yours. And if you are interested, get yourself up to Southview. Pop in, see the sales, guys. Go and see V. She's lovely. Um, And please, when you get to part, mention Lee and Shane at My Static Life. See you later. Ciao. For now. Yeah. Boof. Free done.